Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very instructive chess game by Paul Morphy against his lifelong friend Charles Morian. And this odd chess game was played in 1869 in New Orleans at the perhaps at the Morphy Mansion at the home of Paul Morphy. And Morian himself recorded his chess games against Paul Morphy, his close friend. And Morphy always played with the odds, as you know. Uh, so let's see what happened in this chess game. And Paul Morphy's knight on b1 is absent, as you can see. So Morphy starts the game with e4, we have e5, f4, the king's gambit accepted, developing the pieces rapidly. And Marianne is attacking the knight with pushing the pawn g4. And Morphy made a big decision and he decided to sacrifice his knight with pushing to the pawn and Marianne accepted the sacrifice and Morphy is two pieces down Queen takes on f3 and Morphy castled developing the bishop but actually Morphy is easily sending the bishop back to home bishop to c8 and capturing the f-pawn bishop takes on f4 and in this position moving the bishop let's say something like bishop to e5 comes to mind both attacking the rook and threatening checkmate. There is no time for capturing the bishop because of getting checkmated. So defending with the queen, queen to d7. And but this is blocking the bishop, so this doesn't look very good for black. As you can see, this is not so good. And Morphy pushed the e pawn and he basically wants to open the e file. Queen to g4 desperately wants to exchange the queens. And black haven't castled, Morphy's king is looking happy. Of course, Morphy sacrificed two knights, one of them was before the game. Uh, but this looks like black is lacking behind development. And Paul Morphy is ahead in the development, just like always. Queen to e3, and in this position, of course, not exchanging the queens. And Morphy is threatening to take the pawn with check, so bishop to e7. But simply capturing the pawn, capturing back, what else? And then bringing the other rook into the action, rook from a to e1, the other rook joins the party and attacking the bishop. So the only the knight is defending the checkmate threat, so black is pushing the pawn, but simply capturing on d6. So white has three attackers to the bishop, black is only defending for two times, only two times, and one of the defenders is the king. So this doesn't look very good. Queen goes back for the defense. And there is a very simple chess problem in front of you. Can you see the winning combination? There is a forced win in this position. What would you do in this? Uh, did you see the best move? Did you see the forced win actually? Uh, if you didn't see the forced win, uh, let me show you the first move. The first move is bishop takes on e7. And if capturing the bishop with the queen, then moving the queen and the queen is pinned pinning the queen to the king maybe blocking with the bishop is possible but we can simply take the bishop and knight takes on e7 what else and now this is the moment of truth can you see the other winning move why did paul morphy capture the bishop did you see the move The move is bishop to b5, of course. This was the elegant move of Paul Morphy. What a beautiful move. Okay, so this is a beautiful defender elimination move. And let me show you the possible continuation. So this is pinning the queen to the king. If capturing the bishop, bang, getting checkmated. And throughout this chess game, Paul Morphy simply attacked his opponent like a raging bull. A very quick attacking, aggressive, rapid developing moves, and then finally checkmating the king at the center, the exposed king. So, okay, let's check out what happens if interposing the bishop, then simply capturing the knight, and this is also very bad because threatening to take and pinning the queen again. So, capturing, and now what would you do? <laughs> it is very simple, of course. Simply Bishop takes on c6, again pinning the queen, and if capturing, getting checkmated. 
So simply with this move Paul Morphy is pulling a rabbit from the head, he creates magic out of nothing. A beautiful move by Paul Morphy deflecting to queen and checkmating the king. Another very instructive chess game by Paul Charles Morphy. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.